Hi, let's apply some video to a design. What I've got here is a few boxes on the left side of the stage and some room on the right side of the stage for an LED panel matrix. Let's start with the boxes. In order to apply a video, we need to start with creating a material for the video. So let's do that and call the material video. Next, we need to set up a media source for the material. Now, we could use streaming video from media servers or other sources like capture cards. But in this example, I'm going to set up a media player, which is like a virtual playlist of images, movies, or laser content that we can then use in a material. Let's add an MP4 movie file and hit the play button next to it to start playback. I'm now ready to select this media player in the texture media property of the material and finally assign the material to one or many objects in the design. At this point, it's kind of hard to make out the video and that's because the media is applied like any other texture really and the boxes are not well lit. The typical way around this is to find the luminance property of the material and apply a knit value, thereby making the material self-illuminating. A good starting point might be 300 nits, which is close to the brightness of a regular computer screen. As you can see, the video now plays back, but also repeats over all the boxes. So, what we often want to do is go into the material mapping mode, using the map to extends command to neatly wrap the video around the objects in question. Next, let's build an LED panel matrix on the right side of the stage. Now I want to build a matrix of Barco's NX6 panels, so I'll go to the library tab and the fixtures category. Here I can search for NX6 and drag and drop a panel into the design. Now in order to create a matrix of panels, I could use the duplicate command, but for smaller matrices, it's also good to know that you can use the quick copy command along with the snapping to create a small array of panels, or even larger arrays for that matter. Now that we've got the array set up, we want to apply the material to it, and again go into the material mapping mode, and map the video to the extents of the panel array. As you can see, we're now getting the LED panel visualization along with the pixel pitch, um, moiré effect behavior and everything you would expect from an LED panel. The brightness of the LED panel is also defined through the library, which means we are getting the correct brightness for the panels in question. Should you need to override that, however, it is good to know that the panels themselves have a brightness property or an intensity property that we can use to dim the panels should we need to. Thank you so much for watching.